Hi, and welcome to Pro Tip Episode, all about the book and resource, Good and Cheap. I'm Kate Schultz, here today to give you a short bite episode. We're talking tips, techniques, and well-earned wisdom in six minutes or less. Pro Tip today is about a resource written by Leanne Brown called Good and Cheap. You know, it's a cookbook for people who are living on very low food budgets or SNAP. And the general understanding is that people who use SNAP in the United States is that they're limited to a budget of about $4 a day for food. So not a lot. But Leanne Brown wrote this book, as she says, this book isn't challenging you to live on so little. It's a resource in case that's your reality. And she wrote this book as part of her MFA in food studies. So in addition to being something to help people, it's also a resource that she wrote to really expand this notion of what it's like to eat well on a budget. And the book itself is beautiful. It's organized into several sections. One, tips for eating and shopping well. Things like always buy eggs and buy in bulk, but only if you can use it up before it goes bad, which like, very true. There's pantry basics, which is talking about things like what are citrus fruits? How do you store dairy? And what are some good spices to have around the house? Then there's sections on breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And then staples, things like making fresh pasta, your own tomato sauce, and ways to spice up a rice and beans. And the last bit that she's got is flavor. So things like peanut sauces, raita, spices, tzatziki sauce, things that are really going to make um, a basic dish a little more delicious. And look, I want to be really clear. This cookbook has amazing looking recipes, peanut butter and jelly granola bars, or broccoli rabe and mozzarella calzones, to like five different spins on popcorn. This is not a cookbook that thinks you have to suffer just because you don't have a huge grocery bill. You know, I would recommend this cookbook to anyone who is looking to reduce their grocery budget or a student who's going off to school or anyone who just might be trying to cook a little better but doesn't want to break the bank. It's not just for folks who are, you know, struggling and trying to live on on very limited food budgets. This is truly a cookbook for everybody. And I think the piece I like the most is that it is not shame-based or punitive. It's a cookbook that would work for anyone, whether or not they have a champagne budget. And this is probably why this PDF has been downloaded for free over a million times. She's also donated many of these books to various organizations like food pantries and other um, outreach places as part of her Kickstarter and then as an ongoing campaign to help folks who might need this kind of resource. Overall, it's a project that has helped so many people and one that I am happy to share with all of you today. There you have it. We hope that this gave you an idea or inspiration to make your time in the kitchen or dinner table that much easier. And if you've got a great idea, let us know. You can email us at dinnersisterspodcast at gmail.com or find us on Facebook at Dinner Sisters Podcast. We would love to hear what you're doing in the kitchen. As always, thanks for joining us. Come back soon. We'll save a spot at the table for you.